Virgo. This is a peek at your partner for the week of December the 3rd through December the 9th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Virgo for December the 3rd through December the 9th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Virgo for December the 3rd through December the 9th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Virgo for December the 3rd through December the 9th, 2023 show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals if you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Virgo. Virgo, this is a peek at your partner. So, Virgo, your partner has the Ace of Wands. Your partner has the Two of Swords. Your partner has the Page of Cups. Your partner has the Eight of Swords. And your partner has the Nine of Cups. So, Virgo, your partner has the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication. Exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So, brand new, passionate beginnings. So listen, Virgo, your partner could tell me that they have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Virgo's partner. The Ace of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the Emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with this Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of a child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with. This could be work or business for your partner as well. Clarify the emperor for Virgo's partner. Clarify the emperor for Virgo's partner. Clarify the emperor for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your partner's luck and fortune. Where well, this wheel can spin and they can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for your partner. So Virgo, listen, your partner could tell me that everything between you guys has changed. Your partner could tell me it's an actual change in their luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the High Priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is She Who Knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for your partner to use their intuition, but they may know something that they're keeping to themselves. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Virgo, listen, your partner can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. They can tell me that they're, they're using their intuition or they have a secret. Clarify the high priestess 
for Virgo's partner. Clarify the High Priestess for Virgo's partner. Clarify the High Priestess for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development, and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but your partner could tell me that they're happy, they want to be happy, they're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Virgo's partner. Clarify the sun for Virgo's partner. Clarify the sun for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Virgo, listen, could be dealing with a Taurus, but you guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in their mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Virgo, listen, your partner's all up in their head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Now listen, your partner could be a little anxious because they're wanting to initiate something in divine timing. They're wanting to take charge here. Because they're wanting to be happy and is this the, about commitment or is this about forgiveness because something was illuminated, something came to light. Your partner could also tell me that everything between you guys has changed because something was illuminated here and you guys had some type of heated discussion or argument and they're in their head about forgiving you or asking for forgiveness here. Your partner could also tell me that they're using their intuition about initiating something here possibly with an institution organization governmental agency to change their luck and fortune like i said this could be work or business so they're in their head about starting something initiating something your partner could also tell me that i don't know i hope no one started a passion in the beginning that was what was illuminated and they're in their head about forgiveness here virgo your partner has a two of swords gemini libra aquarius this is your partner needing to make a decision, but they're in the dark about some things. Some things they just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for them to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of your partner being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Virgo, listen, either your partner's indecisive or they're blocking. Clarify the two of swords. For Virgo's partner, clarify the two of swords for Virgo's partner, clarify the two of swords for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the three of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing your partner heartbreak. So listen, Virgo, your partner could tell me that they're hurt. And they could be hurt because their feelings are hurt or they're hurt because there's a third party. Now, Virgo, your partner could tell me that they're indecisive about initiating something here. This is why they're up in their head because they cause you this hurt. They hurt your feelings or they hurt you because they had a third party. They started a passionate new beginning somewhere. So they're indecisive about whether or not to come in and ask for forgiveness here. However, Virgo, your partner could tell me that they're still hurt by something and they could be blocking. And they could be blocking you because they feel like you had a third party that they're up in the head because you started a passionate new beginning somewhere else. 
Virgo, your partner has the page of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produce because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. So your partner could be receiving love messages and an apology. They could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produce because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Virgo's partner. Clarify the page of cups for Virgo's partner. Clarify the page of cups for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But your partner is determined to move forward confidently. So, Virgo, could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Virgo's partner. Clarify the chariot for Virgo's partner. Clarify the chariot for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with you, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, the queen of pentacles. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. So, Virgo, mm, this is you. Clarify the queen of pentacles. For Virgo's partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Virgo's partner. What does Virgo's partner think of Virgo? What does Virgo's partner think of Virgo? Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future, but the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Virgo, listen, your partner could tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, a geographical distance. Your partner could tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Virgo's partner. Clarify the world for Virgo's partner. Clarify the world for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using their intuition concerning something, or searching their emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner's trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And they have all the tools and resources available to them to manifest whatsoever they will. They have the earth element, the water element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, they can manifest. So Virgo could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner's trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Virgo's partner. Clarify the magician for Virgo's partner. Clarify the magician for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement, but your partner may be beginning to change their perspective. So Virgo, listen, could be dealing with a Pisces, but your partner could tell me that you guys are stagnant or something is hanging in the balance. However, they could be changing their perspective here. 
Clarify the hangman for Virgo's partner. Clarify the hangman for Virgo's partner. Clarify the hangman for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning your partner to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that they make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So, Virgo, listen, could be dealing with a Sag, but your partner could tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. Your partner could tell me that they're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also, a need for your partner to be patient. Clarified temperance for Virgo's partner. Clarified temperance for Virgo's partner. Clarified temperance for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the universe is calling for your partner to have strength, courage, determination, motivation, to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of your partner trying to tame their lusts, tame their passions, trying to restrain themselves, restrict themselves, and hold themselves back from something. So Virgo, listen, could be dealing with a Leo, but your partner could tell me that they're feeling extremely weak here. Your partner could tell me that they're restraining themselves, restricting themselves, and holding themselves back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Virgo's partner. Clarify strength for Virgo's partner. Clarify strength for Virgo's partner. <clears throat> It is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So Virgo, could be dealing with a Scorpio. But your partner could tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarified death for Virgo's partner. Clarified death for Virgo's partner. Clarified death for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into your partner or your partner coming in to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Virgo's partner. Oh, that just flew out. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Two of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be your partner managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So, Virgo, listen, your partner could tell me that they're weighing things up, trying to decide should they, shouldn't they? Or juggling was taking place. You know, Virgo, I feel like your partner is telling me that they're trying to manifest you guys healing things, many things, working things out here. They're trying to muster the strength and courage to come in and start new after ending by apologizing to you. Apologizing to you because they're wanting to move forward here and come back around again and start a new cycle. This is what they're debating about. This is what they're in their head about. Some type of forgiveness, remember? But Virgo, your partner could also tell me that they're debating about some type of proposal here to transform things between you no longer. We're dating now. We're engaged. No longer engaged now. We're married. Wanting to muster the strength and courage to come in with this, to move forward with this proposal or this romantic news. Your partner could also tell me that someone, you or them, may be coming in to apologize, apologize for juggling. This is the reason why you guys are stagnant and a cycle was closed out here. But someone is wanting to move forward and this is the reason for the apology. Someone wants forgiveness and this may be what they're in their head about. And they can be indecisive on whether or not to forgive you because you hurt them or they're indecisive about making this move and they're in their head because they hurt you and they feel like you will say no, they're scared. 
Virgo, your partner has the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling stuck. Like they're in a self-imposed prison of their thoughts. This is your partner feeling like they can't move, but they can move because it's all mental. This is them refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is your partner feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Virgo, listen, your partner could tell me that they're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication here. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Four of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Virgo, listen, this can be about your partner's foundation, their stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Now, Virgo, your partner could tell me that they're stuck on whether or not you guys are going to level up here and maybe have this commitment or celebrate with one another. Because like I said, it could very well be a proposal here about commitment. However, your partner could tell me that when it comes to commitment, maybe they're just blocking that out because they're still hurt. Virgo, your partner has the Nine of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to your partner feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Virgo, listen, your partner could tell me that they're getting their wish, could be feeling smug here or overindulging, trying to numb out. Clarify the nine of cups for Virgo's partner. Clarify the nine of cups for Virgo's partner. Clarify the nine of cups for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking their truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Virgo, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering their craft. Perfecting their skills, trades, and abilities. This is your partner throwing themselves into their work. But this can also speak to them being willing to work on it or put in the work. Now, Virgo, listen, this could all be work or business for your partner. Your partner could tell me that they're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. Your partner could tell me that they're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. You know, Virgo, I feel like they're done beating around the bush this whole read here. I feel like they're going to come in charging directly about working things out or concerning some type of plan. And I feel like this plan is about some type of commitment or leveling up here. It's just almost, I want to say this word so bad, but I'm not going to, it's about them no longer pee-footing this situation around. Oh, that's what I want to say. Okay, I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for your partner, Virgo. And so it says, it was my fault, but I blamed you. It was my fault, but I blamed you. What else for Virgo's partner? They can't take it anymore. I, you know, you may have beaten them up, but it seems like with this read, they beat them all, their own selves up a lot in their head. It says, I want to be more than friends. I want to be more than friends. It was my fault, but I blamed you. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Virgo, this is a peek at your partner for the week of December the 3rd through December the 9th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, 
comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.